Hello everybody, welcome to Life, the Game of Chance. Uh, I was just looking through itch.io when this came up. Um, it can be a little bit controversial at times, but I decided just to play a little bit of it since I've posted it on the channel for a while, and it could be quite interesting and a different view on things. So, uh, here we go. <laughs> Click to born. Okay. You are female, born in Europe. Your parents are getting divorced. Do you want to live with your mother? Sure. Your mother is lacking money. She is depressed. Do you work hard at school to make her happier? Yeah. You're the first one of your class during all your schooling. Your mother tells you you're going. You're the best. You're, you graduate with a film degree. Do you want to become a filmmaker? Why not? Sorry, only 7% of filmmakers are women. You have no network and you fail that field in spite of many years of total dedication. After 30 years of trying to improve, your projects never perform. Journalists mocked you, your art and you never tried again. After the death of your mother that reminded you proud of you, remain proud of you until the very end you commit suicide. <clears throat> okay. Life doesn't have to be a game of chance. Be tolerant, com compassionate. Oh my god, I can't speak today. Compassionate with others. Give opportunities to unprivileged ones. A major part of what you do and what you are have to, is due to where you were born. You never deserve it all. Do you want to give life another shot? Whew. Sure. <clears throat> Click the board. No. Okay. You're male born in the countryside. In a countryside in Asia, as years pass by, your desire to leave the paddy fields for the city grows stronger. Do you choose to stay in the countryside with your family and friends? No. In this crowded country, you're not the only one wanting to thrive in a shining city in order to travel across the country. You need an inter internal passport. Someone proposes you a counterfeit one. Do you take it? Ooh, I don't know. Look at him. Follow the cursor. Uh, that's cool. I like that. Um. Sure, let's lead a life of crime. The passport allows you to reach the city, but you never. But you get robbed while asking for directions without passport. It's impossible to ask for a job or benefit in these services in the city. You have to engage in the block market to survive. You can work for an. Occidental. Uh, Accidental? I'm not sure. Industrial group. Do you take the job? Yes. You enter the industrial complex and oh my god, my phone is ringing. Okay. I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, you enter the industrial complex complex and the metal gates close behind you. You get the feeling that you'll never be outside again. In fact, there are no... There, there are, well that's very English, there are no reason to get out of the facility, everything is on site, life is comfortable in the first weeks, but you quickly realize that the work hours are barely bearable, one day you're too tired and heavy machineries crush your arm, since you're not able to work, the company fires you, you die alone in misery, misery shortly after. You were born, you never deserve it all. Do you want to give up? Okay. Hopefully we do get something different. Okay. Something different. You're a black male born in Africa as you are a bri bri brilliant student. You're sent to the U.S. for an exchange. After graduation, you are offered a job in the U.S., but your family insists that you come back to your homeland to take over the family business. You fly back to your home country. back to your homeland and take over the family business, things are going well, so well that many people start to see you as a visionary that could do a lot more for his country. Do you listen to them and become, begin a political career? Yeah. You start, dazzling career, start a dazzling career in politics and you quickly become the youngest local official of your country. One day, a well-dressed man asks you to share a coffee. Ask to share a coffee with you, I'm sorry. Presents a lot of convincing arguments and asks you to stop supporting a proposal for new regulations. You are already thinking about not supporting them. At the end of the meeting, he leaves a suitcase full of banknotes behind to take it. Not good. Your 
integrity precedes you and people praise people and people praises you. That doesn't mean it. people praise you for this incorruptibility. However, you will never be able to make any significant change to your country since others quickly sidelined you for a determination to refuse any bribe. Let's do it one more time right in this video. Let's see. Got this one again. Let's stay this time. Yep, I choose to stay. In this crowded country, you're not the only one wanting to thrive in it. I said I wanted. Okay, I don't care. Okay, I don't care. Yeah, counter blue one. Do you want to take it? No, I'm not taking it. I prefer not to get in trouble and wait for the formidables to get taken care of by the local government. After nearly a year, your situation has not evolved. Do you keep waiting for the passport? Yes. News about the passport will never arrive and you'll be stuck in your village, always daydreaming about the wonders of the city. You live a long life, always haunted by your wish to become a city dweller. Well, at least I'm gonna get crushed, bud. <laughs> I'm rude. Okay, guys, uh... Okay, that's the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know I have. It's been an interesting dwell into life. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If not, then don't watch it ever again. If you really, really liked it, then watch it a bunch of times after this. I don't care. Uh, but I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.